Hey, we got a question for you. Do you find that you get a better night's sleep when someone is sleeping in the bed with you? Or are you more rested when you sleep alone? This has been a debate between spouses and partners forever. Well, the great debate has been studied by real researchers and the results may surprise you. Our sleep expert, Dr. Joseph Ojal from the Clayton Sleep Institute is here to offer some insight on this subject. Hello, how are you? Good morning. All right, my first instinct when I heard this question is like, oh, alone for sure. Sleeping alone is way better. You get a more restful sleep, the study said. Not true. I'm shocked over that. <laughs> Why? I appreciate that you're shocked too. Well, it, it's, it's very clear that being sleeping with someone, a, a partner, a romantic partner, someone that you care about, those folks, when studied, this is a large database out of Pennsylvania, over a thousand people. The people that that have that relationship, they have less insomnia, less anxiety, less depression, less sleep apnea. So, and the people who don't, who sleep alone or sleep with children, like co-sleeping with children or pets, have increased insomnia, increased anxiety, increased depression, increased sleep apnea. I am. I'm really, really floored by this because, you know, it's like somebody might look on their phone or get up to use the restroom, make a trip over something, whatever. It, it just kind of equates to a more restless night. But just knowing that that person is just kind of a peace of mind thing? Well, there are, there's other, there's certainly many factors, okay? And, you know, you're one and only. That's the person that you care about that gives you comfort. There's, there, this correlates with some other information. When you look at uh, longevity, there's, when you study the things that give people longevity, for instance, staying more active, eating a healthier diet, foregoing things like drugs and alcohol, those are the top three things. Mm -hmm. When you look at the next two things, the, the, one of those is long-term loving relationships and getting better sleep. And so this data co co coincides with that sort of data, which suggests that these hmm. relationships and the steadiness of having a good bed partner is important. But what if you're someone like me? I literally sleep like a rock. I hear no thunderstorms. You could have a party in the room next door. I would know it. It doesn't matter because I don't know that. Is it? Does it always still go back to just kind of knowing they're there? Well, I, think, I, feel, I do feel a sense of security with my husband next to me. I think that speaks to the reduction of stress in your life. Right. Certainly, we have, we, have a, we have an association right now. This, this data suggests this association, which is statistically relevant. What we don't know are all the reasons, right? And I think you're hinting at what these reasons are uh -huh. in a very honest way. You're saying, hey, I feel more secure. What does I it do. do? Reduces your stress, makes you feel better. So we think those things... It helps things, that I kind of dig him, too. He's well, my husband after 34 years. And he is a fine man. Yes, he is. <laughs> a wonderful man. We appreciate him. All right, and we appreciate you. I bet you, you were surprised, too. I bet you, I bet you. Some interesting insight. If you want to learn more about this study, we have a link to it, as well as Dr. Ojal's office at the Clayton Sleep Institute. You want to learn more about your sleep habits and how it might improve your life? Link up to it on our website, as well as our Fox 2 mobile app. All right, time to go fishing. You know I love fishing. I might do a little bit of that in retirement. Timmy, get me ready.